Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Lichtenstein. Thank you. If we can debunk some of the myths around STDs, so how often do you see a patient come in who's been infected by an STD? Uh, probably a dozen or two dozens a day. Out of about maybe 80 to 100 patients that we see a day, probably about a, f a quarter to a third will come back with some kind of an STD. If you are on birth control, can you still uh, ha get an STD? Absolutely, including, by the way, condoms, which people think are the absolute prevention for STD. Condoms can prevent STDs if, the, if they are used correctly, if they are used from the first minute until the very last. What happens is most patients will engage in foreplay and just put the condom afterwards and after they reach their climax, they will take the condom off and still cuddle a little bit and that can definitely give an STD. If you or your partner had an STD, would the signs and symptoms be obvious? By the time the signs and symptoms are obvious, you have gone quite far. Usually you have no symptoms at all, that's the vast majority, and that's the best time to catch it and take care of it. By the time you have the symptoms, depending on what STD it is, there could be irreversible damage. What are some of the irreversible damages one might have from an STD? The most common one, especially from chlamydia, is infertility. Chlamydia can cause pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease significantly reduces the likelihood of becoming pregnant in the future. Depending on other STDs, syphilis, for example, the uh, worst outcome is death, but it can cause neural damage, it can cause insanity, it can cause a whole bunch of other uh, types of damage to the brain and to the spine. Most people think, oh my God, I got STD, my life is over. The vast majority of STDs, especially if caught early, can be treated. They don't have a stigma. It's not any worse socially to get an STD from your partner than to get the cold or to get the flu from your partner. It's just a different mechanism of getting it. And yeah, it can be treated. And in most cases, it can be treated more easily than the flu. What are your tips for the public when it comes to sexual activity? Uh, first tip is visit your doctor regularly because we can tailor a way of preventing STDs that is best for your particular needs. And if you do get exposed, if you do get an STD, we will catch it at a point where it is no big deal and prevent, him from progress, prevent it from progressing to something that could affect your life in a negative way. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Lipkinson. Thank you.